Now with this uh, exercise, we've all, uh, changed the leg position. It means uh, pushing the hand or the punch from the front leg side with the leg in front. It means indirect uh, force from the rear leg. Okay, so again, here again, you, you need to rotate the hip just slightly towards the right the right hip hip joint slightly towards your left uh, for bend right there in order to transfer that resistance that I'm giving him to his rear leg if he's squared then there you can see that the force my resistance against his punch will go right behind him to any unsupported leg or uh, with no support basically it means his front leg will not be able to resist the uh, my force so he needs to still deliver it to his rear leg by rotating the hip slightly yeah so bending your right here is again uh, affirming the fact that the upper arm rises up and the fist lowers to to make the fist travel in a straight line. So I think he's mentioning that um, you know his shoulders are sore, uh, and what I'm saying is that a lot of Wing Chun suffers uh, from shoulder pain is because they're using the stabilizing muscles the thin rotary cuffs uh, for resistance so uh, which is not designed for consequently you know uh, the shoulder design uh, with the rotary cuffs is to allow maximum mobility so it's made of uh, strands of muscles Okay, so here I'm demonstrating how we must we must adjust. Say, so supposing we had a cup in our hand, but as it goes up, the wrist must adjust and keep the same uh, vertical position. Because if you had the cup, if you held the uh, stiffened the the uh, hand, the wrist, then the water would pour out of the uh, glass. Yeah. So same same thing. Uh, I'm saying. To deliver the force forward, do the same. You keep the vertical fist vertical and go vertical across, right? Otherwise, your your force is going in a different direction. Anyway, we're talking about the rotary cuffs. Uh, <clears throat> uh, because of the weakness of the rotary cuffs, you often have shoulder dislocation because the shoulder was wasn't designed. It's not what they call moving muscles for strength. Is designed for just allowing, uh, keeping the the joints together, and allowing to to uh, to move. The the muscles that actually should be used for for punching or or pushing and so on, or pulling, should be with the pectoral muscles, means the chest muscles, or the lattice latissimus, the back muscles. Those are large muscles designed for moving. The inside muscles, the smaller muscles, strands of muscle, underneath the big muscles are there for stabilizing uh, the joints or or stabilizing the the, um, the muscles to the bones or you know. So the layer thins out from the superficial muscles down to the, 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 the when it gets closer to the bone there. So 